but yeah, so well, that's that's awesome. I mean, and then I, I would encourage you too that you know, while real estate is a is a definitely a, a vehicle to make a lot of money, mm-hmm. is that you always keep people first. You know, I mean, I, I genuinely feel like it. If you bring value and you keep people at the forefront of uh, everything that you do, the money will come. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you're always trying to chase the dollar, I don't think you. I think the finish line always moves, right. you know, and, and that's what I, that's what I've learned because in, in the beginning, all my goals were money related, you know, it was like, if, or, 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 you know, units sold or, you know, something like that. And you get to that point where you accomplish the goal and it's like, well, now what you gotta, you gotta increase that even more, you know, it's so in my past few years, I've been focused on. going on everyone it's tim here with the tma connection a local podcast focused on bringing in people that are making a difference in the lives of others talking about life talking about community talking a little bit about real estate too and that's what we have here today is a smidge of real estate because we're meeting the team today and on our team we have mr ralph massime um joining us today ralph welcome to the show thank you for having me man <laughs> Hey, before we even get started, I just want people to know, like, you can now find us anywhere on the internet when you, wherever you download podcasts, thanks to Jay Z, and so uh, you know, find the podcast, subscribe to it. If uh, if you're not on podcasts, you can go on YouTube. I think everybody at least knows where YouTube is, and you can subscribe there as well. So, without further ado. Ralph Massime. Welcome to the show, brother. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I think this is going to be fun and it's going to give people a little bit of an opportunity to kind of meet some other people on the on the real estate team that um, that, you know, we, we, we surround ourselves with greatness and we uh, we're, we're, gl- we're glad you're on the team. So, Ralph, let's throw the ball into your court. Give everyone a little bit of an idea of who Ralph is. Yeah. So I'm Ralph. Probably a lot of your followers know me from high school or just around Bel Air, I guess. Um, I joined the team. What was it like a year and a half ago? I think I think so. Yeah, yeah something like that. But uh, as you know, you know, I'm a police officer. I've been doing that since 2018. Um, just wanted to do something more. Just talk to you and uh, join doing real estate stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Ralph's a police officer, and I think well, with my dad and I when we started it, uh, started real estate, it was to to uh, educate, serve, and protect. Like that was kind of like our sl- slogans, mm-hmm. you know. And that's what police do; they serve and protect, and they're looking to make a difference in the lives of others. And that's kind of like the heartbeat of what it is to be on the TMA real estate team is to, you know, be focused on making a difference. So um, you know, it's it's awesome that. You know, in, in the midst of your police work, you're also doing a little bit of real estate, too. Uh, but what what actually prompted you to get into real estate? Uh, so, I mean, ever just a really young age, actually, probably like late middle school, early high school. I was just really thinking about I wanted to do investment, uh, investment properties. I've seen people that, you know, make a lot of money doing it and uh, I wanted to be that person. Yeah. <laughs> so... You know, uh, graduated high school, just like really working hard in a bunch of different kitchens and uh, went to college part time at HCC. And, you know, instead of going to classes, I'd be in the library watching like how to flip homes on YouTube. (laughs) Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, I think that's just really what kind of sparked my interest further into taking it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when my dad and I got into real estate back in 2015, it was all about. Like we had flipped a couple houses mm-hmm. and then realized that every time we sold a house, we're going to have to pay realtor commissions. Mm-hmm. So it was like, hey, let's let's get our real estate license, and that's what we did. And yeah. since then, we haven't flipped a house, <laughs> you know. But but that, but nonetheless, um, it, you know, Ralph knows a lot about uh, investments, you know, investment properties, uh, flipping homes, or you know, where you turn them around fast, or where you buy and then you hold them mm-hmm. um, as, a, as a rental property. So um, with a lot of investments, I think now in this day and age, you know, of the date that we're talking right now, the health of the market may or may not be strong right now. But yeah, hard to buy undervalue. Yeah. <laughs> That's but, what all these books say. They're like, 
well, it's just real easy. Well, you just got to buy twenty uh, percent under uh, market value. <laughs> right. Like, where are you going to find that? Right. It's well, certainly the inventory out there is tough right now, but. Mm-hmm. You know, you're really ta- doing a, a good job of like just taking the time to learn more. You know, mm-hmm. to to learn and learn and learn. You're you're young. How old are you? Twenty five. Twenty five. Mm-hmm. So you know, mid twenties, you're learning this stuff now and just building your knowledge. You know, at, at some point when the market does turn uh, for investors, you know, you're you're going to be buying up, <laughs> buying it up, buying <laughs> buying Harford County, Baltimore County. You know, so yeah. Baltimore City. Um, all over the place. So, um, well, for anyone, you know, you, you've been in the business for a year and a half now, so you're, you're pretty fresh into the business. Um, if someone was thinking about getting into real estate, what, what, what one big piece of advice would you give them if they were, you know, pursuing this career? So if I like had to talk to my like 16, 17 year old self, I'd just be like, dude, just keep saving money. Like stop uh-huh. buying ridiculous stuff. Okay. Just just keep saving money and get that, you know, twenty k, thirty k. So you when you're ready to buy a house, it's gonna be like a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Um, especially if you want to do the investing. Like you're just gonna need a lot of this capital up front. Like I don't care what all the gurus say. No money, no credit. Like buying homes, like it's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just save your money and go from there. Yeah. Yeah, and I think if, you know, a lot of times we don't live within our means and we do buy stupid stuff, it's mm-hmm. it's like just, man, if I could go back and talk to my teenage self. Yeah. Whew. Just cut it out. But just I think everybody's like that, right? Yeah. You, you learn through your mistakes, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, and uh, or, or the challenges in life. Um, what do you like most about being a real estate agent? Uh, just, mm. Actually, I'll break that into a two-part question. What do you like most about being a real estate agent? And then what do you like most about being an investor? Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Well, they're both pretty self-motivating, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we don't have to come in here at 9 in the morning and leave at 5. We do it because we want to. Mm -hmm. And uh, depending on how much money I want to make, that's how many hours I'm going to work. So I can work no hours and make no money. And I guess it's a little bit more relaxed, but then it's like, hey, if you don't work, you're not going to make money. You got to do something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so then, that's about the realtor part. What do I like about being an investor? Um, long-term security. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and real estate through and through has been, you know, it's a good investment. Yeah. Long, long-term investment. Yeah. I, I think I, long-term though. I did have like stocks and all that other stuff, but I, I prefer real estate. Okay. It's better. That's awesome. And then, did you ever tap into the crypto at all? Uh, I think I bought a couple hundred bucks on Robinhood. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I yeah, I, I like invested in Shib and I bought it at like eighty dollars. <laughs> now it's like down to twenty dollars. Yeah. So probably. didn't didn't do too much with it, but um, but yeah. So well, that's that's awesome. I mean, and then I I would encourage you too that you know, while real estate is a is a definitely a vehicle to make a lot of money, mm-hmm. is that you always keep people first. You know, I mean, I, I genuinely feel like it, if you bring value mm-hmm. and you keep people at the forefront of uh, everything that you do, the money will come. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you're always trying to chase the dollar, I don't think you, I think the finish line always moves. Right. You know, and, and that's what I've, that's what I've learned mm-hmm. because in, in the beginning, all my goals were money related, mm-hmm. you know, it was like if, or, 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 or you know units sold or you know something like that and you get to the point where you accomplish the goal and it's like well now what you gotta you gotta increase that even more mm-hmm. you know it's so in my past few years i've been focused on just my inner game you know my mindset my attitude my learning and setting goals like that which ultimately will equate to more money right but keep the people and the knowledge and the education first and everything else will fall into place right. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. Like you, you bring it that way, or you say it that way, because like a lot of the guys I work with, uh-huh. police officer, they all like do real estate stuff, or they're all interested in it. And, yeah, like, I'm the guy they come to and be like, "Well, how'd you do this, this, and this?" And by talking to them about it, just yeah. being like genuine, like just giving advice, they're like maybe interested in like working with me and buying an investment property. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, ha- having that, having that, um, 
that big group of people that, Mm -hmm. well, they know you, they like you and they trust you, Mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, it's, it's kind of like a brotherhood Mm -hmm. that they're, yeah, they are going to come to you Mm -hmm. with, with, and seeking those questions and seeking, you know, your, your experience, Mm -hmm. you know, of of what you can. And that's with, with real estate. It's like, there's so many different avenues that you can get into real estate. Um, it's just not, it's just not flipping and it's just not, um, you know, buying and holding. There's, Mm -hmm significant yep. amount you know real estate trusts and stuff like that so um but cool i mean i think again at 25 learning all this stuff now i mean you're what you're well on your way playing the long game in the end i think you're gonna be just fine doing my best hey that's all you can do right all you can do all you can do um what has been one of your greatest challenges and we'll do this as a two-part question what's been your biggest challenge as a real estate agent and what's been your biggest challenge as an investor as an agent, definitely writing contracts. Okay. Uh, no problem just going up and talking to random people about what I do. Hey, I'm a real estate agent. Mm-hmm. That's, that part comes easy. Um, but just the, because there no no one deal is like the same. Like no, it's not. A thousand moving parts. You got to always talk to the other agent, being good communication and what you need, what I need, what the lender needs, what mm-hmm. everybody needs, and trying to figure mm-hmm. it out. Just giant puzzle. Yeah, and and that comes with time, and mm-hmm. and you know you've you've got a few deals under your belt now, and you've done a really good job with that. But it is kind of like you know an open communication, mm-hmm. but then also having the ability to ask questions, and, and have somebody there to help you mm-hmm. is probably you know a pretty good thing too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think, well, I mean, shoot, I've been doing this for I just celebrated seven years, and I st- there's always something that comes up that it's like you got to bounce it off. So whether it's you know, coming to your team leader or coming to your team or going to somebody else in the office, like mm-hmm. having that open communication of mm-hmm. learning and protecting your client ultimately mm-hmm. is um, is what what it's all about. Yeah. So awesome. Well, let's throw it throw in a few wrap up questions here. Okay. All right, and uh, we'll we'll try to we'll try to catch you off guard a little bit. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Um, last book that you read. Uh, I listen to it. I hate reading. <laughs> so it's audible. Uh, God, another agent, another agent that doesn't like reading. That's all right. No, that, it, but, yeah, but no. It, if it's audible, that's, that's still good. Still reading. So we won't judge you. They Can Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Oh, classic. Uh, it's just, it's so like bone dry, but the, the content is good. Like it's really, really good. And um, it's timeless. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you can tell some of the language and in there. And yeah. It, it, and that's the thing about audible. That when he's reading it, he's just like, oh, and in this time, you do this. And it's like, oh, my God, I got to really chug like an energy drink to listen to this. It's ridiculous. But the content is good, like I said. Right. Yeah, yeah definitely. Think and Grow Rich is definitely uh, mm-hmm. by, by Napoleon Hill. We'll, we'll add that in the mentions on the, uh, on the Facebook and the Instagram. Uh, how about a podcast that you like listening to? Uh, just the, um, the Burr. Burr podcast. The Burr podcast. Talk to me about it. The bigger, uh, bigger, po- bigger pockets. Oh, bigger yeah. pockets. All right. So for those people that don't know, what what is bigger pockets? Uh, so it's just this uh, group of investors, a bunch of them now. There's probably like a couple hundred of them in the podcast. And Brandon Turner, he kind of like owns it or he runs it. And just like what we're doing, he has people come on that, like you said, there's a lot of avenues in real estate. Mm-hmm. Um, he has people within those specific uh, avenues come on and talk about their strategy of investments or, you know, whatever they're doing. Yeah, that's awesome. We have an agent in our office, not on our team, but in our office. Uh, her name's Allie, Allie mm-hmm. Anderson. Mm-hmm. And they Bigger Pockets actually came out to her. Really? And uh, and did a whole podcast with uh, with video and everything. And because uh, her and her husband are big time into um they're big time into investing, and uh, he's in um, in the police department as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I think I follow both of them on Instagram, and I see they they just bought another property. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're crushing it. So they're they're doing good things. A good resource for you too, mm-hmm. and in 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 increasing your education. Um, all right, you're going into the big game. You're going to the big appointment. Who's playing in your headphones? Oh. Um. What's your pump up song? Like it's game time. Um. Probably uh, Air of the Night, Phil Collins. Ah. Uh, for, for the drums. At the end. I, doo-doo, doo-doo, doo-doo. Yep. They played that before every Bel Air football game, well, I believe. Too. It's, it's deep in my memory. So. Yeah, it's right. Yep. I mean, every every warm up, I remember that being in, yep. being being one of the play- that, songs that they played. Yeah, that Man of the Year, the intro. 
Man of the year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Huh. Awesome. Uh, shout out to Gabby. Yeah. Hi, Gabby. Are you watching? Yeah. Well, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope she does because we're mentioning her now. So, uh, first of all, congratulations. Thanks. Uh, Gabby and Ralph just got engaged about a month ago? Yeah. F- a few weeks, a month ago? July 3rd. Uh Awesome. I think we put it up there on Facebook and mm-hmm. beautiful picture. So congratulations. Uh, do yeah. we have a wedding date picture? No. Okay. Probably next year. Pro- probably next <laughs> year. It's still fresh, folks. So we'll have to follow up with him on that. Um, so tonight you're going to take Gabby out to dinner. No, I'm not paying. You, you are. Oh. Uh, um, where, where, is, where are you going to be taking her to dinner? I'm a real, I'm a real big Italian sensation fan in Bel Air. Okay. It's good food. It's good. It's good. Classic Italian food. That's awesome. Where? Where is? Is that um? Is that up near Moore's Mill Road in Twenty Two? Mm-hmm. Up in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Shout out to in- Italian Sensations. Yep. Shrimp, mm. shrimp fra diavolo. It's the best thing they got. What, say that again. Shrimp fra diavolo. I okay. think it means uh, like spicy devil or something. something spicy like that. devil. I don't know what it means. In Italian. Is it hot? It's hot. Yeah, <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. All right. Well, there you go. Um. If you're not doing real estate mm-hmm. and you're not working for the police mm-hmm. and you got a couple hours on your hands, what kind of hobbies does Ralph like to do? Uh, well, if the gym's not thrown in there and it's just like a hobby hobby or just like I'm relaxing, mm-hmm. Warzone, Call of Duty. Uh, if you're watching this and you play Warzone, I'm pretty good at it. Do, do you have like a handle or something that uh, people can yes. contact it's, you on the game? It's Yo Soy Jalapeno. It means I am a jalapeno in Spanish. <laughs> Yo soy jalapeno. Yo soy jalapeno on Call of Duty. If you can't find it, just DM me and we'll talk about real estate while we're playing. That's awesome. That what a way to connect, right? That's right. funny. That's funny. Um, and uh, where can people find you outside of Call of Duty on Instagram, Facebook? Where, where can they, where can people reach out to you? Oh uh, well, Instagram is probably the best uh, way. It's just R my for Ralph, and then Massime R Massime. Okay, that's it. M a s s i m e i. That's it, right? It's good. Not even, bad. Even my friends that have known me for a while still can't spell it right. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I I like you. I care about you, and I like to acknowledge you because you know, going into real estate as a dual career mm-hmm. is challenging. It's very hard. Very hard. Yeah. And uh, but but you have really done a good job so far in your approach to real estate. Mm-hmm. You've already gotten a few deals under your belt. And, um, and again, you're, you're a learner and you recognize that. And I think you're going to do great things in, as, as an agent, as, as an investor, um, and starting at 25, I mean, that's well, and, and probably even younger than that. Yeah. Um, you're so young. Like I didn't figure this stuff out until I was like 39, 40 years old, you know, like you, you, you started figuring these things out and you're putting those things into place and you're taking action and you're not afraid to take action. And that's, I think where people kind of fall short is Mm -hmm. they read and they learn, but they never take action. Yeah. And you're doing that. So I applaud you for that. Appreciate it. So yeah, reach out to Ralph. If you have any questions about real estate, um, buying, selling, investing, uh, playing call of duty, uh, you can follow us on real on um, Instagram and Facebook at the Markland Advantage. You can reach out to us on Twitter, TikTok at TMA Real Estate. You can go to our website tma.penfedrealty.com. And like I said, you can find us anywhere you can download a podcast, um, or you can follow us and subscribe on YouTube. Help us build the brand. Help us build the connections. Um, Ralph, I think I'm the last one on the team to do a podcast, right? Um, and not unless we get Senior on here. Uh. We, we, we've done some things in the past with Senior, but he's a little, you know, microphone shy. So That would be a good one. That would, that would be a good one. Yeah. Another police officer. So, um, But, again, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, until next time, live your life to the fullest, and we'll see you soon. Peace out. Take care. Yep.